Hello, my name is Martin Yapanas and I am a product manager at Stoibli Electrical Connectors. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to assemble the new modular connector system Comitac Direct. Comitac Direct has two types of frames, one for housing applications and one type for panel mount. Now both types of uh, frames come in four different sizes. You can see the difference between the housing and panel mount type of frames uh, if you look at the sides. For example, the housing type has the double cutouts on the side for securing into the housing, where the panel mount type has a single float mount and cutout. All frames are marked with the Stoibli and Comitac logo, and the slots are marked with letters for correct carrier insertion. There is a ground connection on both sides of the frame, and thanks to coding, uh, wrong mating is not possible. So this prevents you from mating the connector in the wrong direction. Please keep in mind that the Comitac is delivered with the carriers already assembled inside the frames. Of course, the contacts are delivered separately as you need to crimp them before insertion. Direct line has different types of carriers available depending on the type of contact. So although the insertion of the carriers inside the frames is very easy and fast and without the need of any tools, uh, make sure that you read the assembly instructions first. The carriers are designed in such a way that they simply click inside the frames. The procedure is very simple. As you can see, the frame has a continuous groove on one side, so it comes all the way up, and a non-continuous groove on the other side, so the top part of, of the frame is, <coughs> is quite flat on the inside. And if you look at the carriers, you have a square cutout on one side, and a T-type cut out on the other side. So you just have to make sure that the T-type is inserted inside the continuous growth side and it just clicks into position. To remove the carriers from the frame, uh, you, the only thing you need is a standard uh, flat screwdriver. So what you want to do is to uh, simply just release the carrier out of position, out of the lock position. You do that on both sides and that should just come out. Let me demonstrate that again. You use the screwdriver, you go under, gently pull up to release it on both sides and simply push that out of position. I will now show you how easy it is to insert contacts inside the carriers. You don't need any tools for inserting the crimped contacts inside the carrier and removing the contacts from the carrier doesn't require any specialized tools. You only need a flat screwdriver. So let's start with the signal contacts. Here is the male 1.5 millimeter carrier with the five slots which are numbered. And this is a contact, a 1.5 millimeter contact which I have already crimped. So you simply insert in the corresponding slot and click inside the position same here, and you hear them click. To remove the contacts from the frames, uh, the only thing you need again is a flat screwdriver. Of course, first of all, you need to remove the uh, carrier from the frame. And once you've done that, you simply place the flat screwdriver between the two holding slots, turn it gently to release the contact, and then simply pull out of position. Inserting the 3mm power contacts follows the same principle. Again, no tools required, just insert the crimped contacts manually and click into position. Let me demonstrate that once more. Very fast and simple. To remove them, the procedure is slightly different. Of course, again, you're using a standard screwdriver. Simply release out of locking position can do all three. And simply pull on the cable to release them. The procedure with the 7 and 10 millimeter contacts, which also feature IP2X protection on both male and female side, is again very simple, but I follow a different principle. You simply take the contact, insert it into the carrier, and you secure it into position by using a simple clip. Click into position and that is secured. To remove the contacts you simply remove the holding clip and the contacts 
can easily be removed. So as you see, the assembly of the Commutac Direct is a very fast and simple process, and the disassembly does not require any sophisticated or expensive tools. So we hope this video has been helpful, and we are here, of course, to support you with any questions you may have. Thank you and goodbye.